before I start this video, I have my retainer in, so if I'm talking funny, yeah, that's why. Um, you know, I'm gonna just talk about like strict, having like strict parents. You know, there's pros and cons to having strict parents, you know. I grew up with pretty strict parents. And so, you know, just like being, you know, just having strict parents really, like, it can, it, like I said, it really has its pros and cons, especially when, you know, growing up as a kid or, like, growing up into, you know, your teenager phase, like, with strict parents, like, it's almost like your fucking teenage phase, your teenage years go to waste sometimes with strict parents but at the same time with strict parents i mean you're you're kind of you're more safe but with being more safe you're losing your social skills in a way you know you're losing your social skills there's fear that's kind of put on to you because if you think about it if you're kept inside all the time you know if you ask your parents oh can i do this can i go out with some friends and they constantly constantly say no then at some point you're going to have some type of anxiety or fear whenever you do go out because you know you're not used to going out that often but but you know with strict parents you know when there was a time in my life you know especially when growing up in neighborhoods that weren't like that weren't safe you know growing up in the projects or what people refer to as like the hood and stuff like that. You know, I could have been really in the streets. I could have been, but you know, thankfully that I had, you know, strict parents, you know, they kept me out of the streets. You know, I was hang, I did hang around like people who weren't good for me, you know, but over, over time, now that I think about it, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thankful. No, I am thankful. I'm thankful, yes, that, you know, I, my parents were strict on me at the time because they really did keep me out of the streets. You know, I could have been, I could have been somewhere, like literally I could have been somewhere else. I could have been somewhere else other than where I'm at now. But at the same time, like, you know, not going out and doing stuff with friends or just family in general with this, with having strict parents, you know, really pushed back my my social skills, but also kind of my social skills, but also, um, you know, anxiety and being paranoid and stuff like that. But, you know, it really does. There, there really are pros and cons because I did have this one ex-friend that, you know, he didn't really have a, he, I mean, he had, did have a strict parent, but he didn't have both of his parents. But you know, he was going through shit at the time. He was going through a bunch of shit, right? But, you know, he was making some terrible decisions. Like he didn't even, he didn't graduate school, you know, with high school with me and my ex friends that, you know, who I thought were my friends, but not really. But the group that I was with, the group that I hung out with, you know, it wasn't really a good group, but, you know, we did have our memories, our times. They weren't the best. You know, we did do bad things, but hey, life, life moves on. There's, you know, you know, we're in the future now. You know, that's the past. But still, you know, he didn't graduate with us. You know, I would always say, you know, if he did, you know, we'd all dance with him. We'd do our dance if we graduated. You know, I was hoping, you know, I cared about this person so, so much. You don't understand, you know. I was always there for this person, but you know, they just end up, they didn't end up graduating. They, um, you know, they got into the streets, started doing drugs, got arrested, all that stuff, like stealing, you know, stealing cars and shit. And like, it was, it was crazy because like there was this one time, like my junior year, my junior year of high school, I stayed after school, like a lot, like 24 seven, just to avoid this one person because I didn't really want to hang out with them any, anymore. I didn't really want to hang out and you know, I needed to focus on my grades and shit, but you know, I was going through my own things, you know? I was going through my own stuff at the time and I didn't really want to hang out. And I had trouble saying no at the time and you know, this person just wouldn't leave me alone. But you know, 
just a, I, I imagine if, you know, this person had their other, you know, parent figure in their life, I wonder how things would have changed if he did. But the thing is, he just had one parent. You know, this person was super talented and sports gifted, bro. This dude was a fucking athlete. This dude could have been a D1 fucking athlete. You know, I've talked about this in my older videos about this person, but this person truly, um, the athletics, I, don't, I can't even say the word right now, but his whole family could have could literally be an athlete, including his, you know, um, younger brothers too. But, um, I mean, they are both athletes. They both are super athletic, but him specifically is fucking athletic as fuck. But he really put that all down to waste because he did not have a strong figure in his fucking life. You know, I was always rooting for him, you know? I was always a good friend to him, but, you know, there were times where, you know, I just overheard things he've said about me, you know, when we were on a school trip before, you know, we were in a cabin, you know, we were on a one-week trip and we were in a cabin, and I was just downstairs, you know, because I didn't want to be with the people upstairs, and he just, he says something, he said, he says something, and I'm, I don't want to say it, but, you know, um, I remember what he said. And, you know, it just kind of bummed me out. I can't even lie when he said it because I didn't I didn't think he would really talk about me like that. But, you know, and then everybody just started kind of laughing when he said it. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I was just always there for this person. I wanted to see the best for them. You know, I spent a lot of my time, um, maybe my sophomore year or junior year, um, hanging out with this person. You know, we did do bad stuff. I can't even lie, we did bad shit. Who can I really blame? I can really blame kind of myself, but at the same time, the group, the people who I surrounded myself with, you know, I thought, I really thought these guys were my friends, but they really weren't. But, um, you know, going back to just the strict parents again, you know, uh, I'm really thankful that I kind of do, that I did, but at the same time, Strict parents can really have its cons, you know, with developing, you know, skills in your life that you need in life. But, um, you know, I'm just grateful that I'm not in the streets. You know, I really, I really could have been in the streets. You know what I mean? I really could have been, you know, um, just doing hood rat shit. You know what I mean? Like, just doing stuff that could probably end, like, have me end up in jail. You know? Which is crazy, but you know, now that I think about it, you know, strict parents, you know, it's it's really having there needs to be a balance with strict parents. There really needs to be a balance because you kind of can't control what your kid does. But if, <coughs> uh, excuse me, but if your kid, you know, if you if your kid grows up in a loving family, most definitely your kid is going to come out more different, if you know what I mean, than a kid that, that that did not grow up in a loving family. But, you know, having strict parents has, has its pros and cons, that's all I gotta say. But, you know, from giving that example about the kid who, you know, who could have been an athlete, a D1 athlete, comparing that kid to me, you know, and it's just, it, it's just kind of wild, you know, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it fucking is, man.